Welcome back guys. Now let's go ahead and log into a salt master and install salt. You know, over here, if you already haven't noticed, I'm using AWS as I've said previously that I would use AWS. And I've launched an instance, a T2 Micro based on Amazon Linux. Um, so it's gonna be a Red Hat based instance. And I've launched two, two of them, one master, one minion. So now let's go ahead and connect to the master and uh, go in and install salt via pip, like how we explained before. Okay, so all right, now that I'm connected to my VM, I need to find out how to install pip on a EC2 Linux Red Hat based image. So I know get pip uh, is a sort of a universal Linux installation, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that. If you search get pip on, on Google, you will get the first page. This is get pip.py file, and all you need to do is copy the link and go ahead and run. At the home directory, you can just you know, do wget and that. And now we have it, so it's, it's here. Let's do Python get pip, and this installs. Oh, we need to be sudo, so let's do. And there we go. And it's warning us about upgrading pip because this is an old version, so let's go ahead and do this too, um, just to make sure that we don't run into any issues afterwards. Um, Yep. Oh, I know why. Because sudo doesn't have in the path variable. It's a little strange. That's going to be a little annoying later. All right. Now that our pip is upgraded, Let's go ahead and install salt. So sudo that guy um, install salt. And there we go. We're getting salt version 2016 11.1 tar gz. This should install many versions of salt. You'll see several packages being installed. Um, this will also install salt ssh, salt uh, Actually, you know what? It's just easier to check. Yep, see? Salt master, salt minion, salt key, cloud, call, API, and so on. So this are this basically is a whole salt package. You can't go wrong with installing it via pip. Where if you were to install it via package manager of like so let's say yum or apt-get, you would need to install some of these individually. Alright. So now that we have salt installed, let's go ahead and start configuring it. Now as I said in my slide before, we want to make sure that we have a directory called etc salt. And we don't. Now, the thing is, like when you install it via package manager, uh, the package manager like yum or apt-get, th this will automatically be done for you. However, since we installed it via pip, it's not as so. So let's go ahead and make a directory called etc salt. So for this, I'm going to be root because it's just so much easier to be root. So let's go ahead and do that, and then mkdir slash etc slash salt. Right. All right. So now we made the directory. Now we're going to make two directory, two directories, and an extra file here. So the two directories we're going to make is, or sorry, they are master.d and minion.d. Now, this is where your salt master and minion configurations will live. Um, anything that the salt master itself will use to run the daemon or for the master and the minion will be here. All salt configuration files that you will be deploying on your target minions or agents in this case will be elsewhere. And we will specify that in the master.d configuration file. So let's go ahead and do that now, actually. So let's go into our master.d directory. And again, this is in etc salt master.d. And whatever configuration we want salt to know about, we have to have it in the etc salt directory and name them.conf. So 
we will name this uh, roots.conf, roots being where the root locations of the configuration files will be held. Let's clear the screen and create the roots.conf file. In the roots.conf file, we're going to be specifying the environments for salt to use. And we're going to specify file roots, which is the default parameter that salt looks for, and the default uh, environment name that salt looks for is base. You can have others like QA, prod, dev, whatever it is you want. And the salt state files for base will be in SRV salt base. Now we need to make sure we create that directory as well. Now, mine had an issue where the salt uh, execution, the binary files were not executable um, because they were not in the path variable. So let's go ahead and export that. So path equal path colon user local bin. All right, so now you should be able to hit tab and yeah, salt and tab and all of them should appear automatically. You don't have to actually run salt. So let's clear the screen and configure the minion. Okay, so the minion needs to know where the master is. The minion, even though they're in the same machine, they will not connect until you specify where the master is. And even after that, we have to do a key-based authentication, and I'll show you that in a little bit. But let's go ahead and configure the minion, and then we'll go ahead and run the minion. This specifies where the master is located, and it's usually done via IP. Uh, in this case, or you can use actually hostname, but in this case, uh, we're going to use localhost because this particular minion is actually on the master, so we can use localhost, and it'll just point back to itself. All right, so let's go ahead and run salt minion in daemon mode and that goes ahead and run the minion now if we specify the master for the minion we should be able to see the key uh, be prompted to accept so if we run salt key this is the machine name this is the minion name and we can change this and I'll show you how to change this but this is the minion name and it's waiting to be accepted it's an unaccepted key so before we even uh, except this, we want to name this minion something different other than, other than this long name because it doesn't really help us. So let's kill the minion. Um, so right, and we will have to reject that key. I think we need it in quotes or single quotes at least, and that will go ahead and delete that key. Yep, delete that key. And now we go back to the etc salt directory and we vi minion id, and that's where the name came from. It salt automatically creates this file if you didn't specify in the first place. So let's go ahead and get rid of that entry. We call and call this salt master minion. Right? So that way, this is the salt master's minion. We know what it is. And now run. Let, now let's run uh, salt minion in daemon mode again. Oops. Oops. I can just run salt minion and then hyphen d, and that should work. Yep. All right. So let's see. Now in our salt key. Yep. There we go we see salt master minion. So let's go ahead and accept that. Uh, we do need to copy the name and we can actually just use part of it. Let's use part of it. So hyphen A to accept and then we'll say it's salt man and then we'll just say star after that. It's basically globbing. You can glob it however you way you want to. Um, you can type part of it and use globs to, to complete the rest of it. As long as the glob will return one particular result it should succeed. If it will, if it returns more than one result, it'll prompt you to accept both or all of the results that it picks up. All right, so let's go ahead and accept that key, and it's been accepted. So to test out that 
our salt minion is working, uh, we can go ahead and call it. This is our minion, so we can call it however we want it. So to call it, we say salt space in single quotes or double quotes, however you feel. The name of the minion, and again, you can use globbing here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do salt or s star because it's just that's the only minion that I have right now. Um, let's run test.ping, and I'll show you what test.ping actually does. See, it returns true. That means it has succeeded. So, test.ping is a uh, is a method, or sorry, it's a class and a function. All it does is it tests the minion and see if it responds to ping. If it does, great, and then it'll just say true and return, and everybody's happy. All right, so we have successfully installed salt. We have successfully installed salt minion and master and configured them both. And we've also configured the conf where the configuration files are going to be held. And we will use that later. But for now, on the next video, we're going to go over more salt CLI uh, configuration or uh, demonstrations. I'll go be go demonstrating them and you'll be listening, obviously. And it's very similar to what we've done just now with this test.ping. So this is the end for this current video. I will see you in the next lecture where we'll be going through more of the CLI stuff. I'll see you guys then.